Average Anthony coming to you. We're going to do a starter replacement on a 37 horsepower power Vanguard. I'm going to give you the rundown up front and then the rest of the video will have the details how to take it apart. Here's the starter right here. Here's the gold plate you got to take off. Here's the wires down here at the bottom of the starter you got to take off as well. Now watch the rest of the video and follow all the steps. This is all you're going to need. There's a replacement starter that I got from a local company. You need a half inch socket with an extension and a 12 millimeter socket with an extension and a lot of patience. Here, here we go. Very first thing you need to do, remove the positive terminal from the battery. That way sparks don't fly. The next step is to remove this plug terminal and I had four wires that were all on the bolt on the end of the starter. I zip tied them together so you wouldn't get them confused. It took a half inch socket to take the, the nut off where these are all mounted on the bottom of the starter unit. Take this all off. This is where those wires you just took off were mounted. Here's the terminal for the plug and there's the half inch nut where all of your other wires with terminals were mounted. The next step is to remove this bracket right here. It's got 12 millimeter bolts that come through here and down below, and you can loosen them up from the back. This is where the starter would mount, so it's right behind the starter. You gotta remove that to have access to the starter bolts. Next, we're gonna actually remove the starter, but I'm gonna show you it right after this where the bolts are at, and that'll let you know where you gotta come up to get them. You gotta come up from the bottom with the extension and the 12 millimeter socket, and then take and loosen this baby up. I've already got this out of here so you can see exactly where these are located so you can take them off. Knowing exactly where these are is half the battle with this. All right, now that you got the starter and everything off, you're basically gonna just turn that process back around. Mount the starter on first, then mount the bracket, then put the wiring and mount the wires on the bottom of the starter and then reconnect your battery. Like my channel, subscribe, I'll keep giving you free advice. You guys have a great day. All right, now that you got the starter and everything off, you're basically gonna just turn that process back around. Mount the starter on first, then mount the bracket, then put the wiring and mount the wires on the bottom of the starter, and then reconnect your battery. Like my channel, subscribe, I'll keep giving you free advice. You guys have a great day.